a brother Jason Welly, a Franciscan of the Assumption Province, and I'm a seminarian right now, and entering my last year of studies at the Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. It's a major global center and, and, and brings a global perspective to doing, uh, to doing theology, which I think is going to be really important for any minister in the church today, whether we go out on mission to a different place outside the United States or whether we're working with, uh, with the many different cultures that have come to establish a Catholic presence here. I spent the last year working at Sacred Heart Parish in downtown McAllen. Uh, McAllen is about 10 miles from the border, and Sacred Heart is a historic parish right in the heart of downtown. I was placed with, uh, with three friars who are also natives of the Midwest, so they had lived there for a year and a half before I arrived and were able to talk through some of the, uh, some of the cultural, uh, cultural things that they experienced when they first came. And that uh, the support of my brothers made the transition much easier. It's four men, and we live together, pray together, eat together, and just enjoy living together. And I think that's why the people in the parish there were so welcoming to us when we, uh, when we first took the parish over two years ago. It's because they could see that this is a group of men that, that love what they do and love who they are. So in that sense, it just it feels so authentic. It feels so natural to do the uh, to do the work that uh, that we're doing down there. That oftentimes it's it's difficult because it is a culture that's uh, that's very different from our own. But at uh, at the same time, it uh, it felt so real to uh, to be out uh, to be out among people in uh, in a new place, just just being ourselves and seeing that uh, that that was good enough for people there. The greatest blessing there was just seeing. In a, in a sense, how little the academics matter to uh, matter to the people in the parish. Uh, for example, I taught a, a Bible study on Monday on Monday evenings, and um, and it was a lot less important to people how much I knew. The more important thing was how authentic I was and how we lived. And they see the examples of the uh, of the friars there leaving, leading a common life of uh, of prayer and work. But uh, but what we can do is uh, is act with love to. To Christ when he comes to our door and uh, and he comes to our door in many different faces every day every day is a new adventure uh, there's a wonderful photo of Galen Osby our postulant and uh, and brother Paul going to visit some nursing homes on Ash Wednesday uh, neither of them speak any Spanish and uh, and most of the residents in the uh, in these nursing homes speak uh, speak puro Espanol but on Ash Wednesday someone came to them to help them fulfill their uh, their what they see as their obligations to the church to receive uh, to receive ashes and begin a time of penance. The most rewarding thing I think uh, about it for me is um, is just seeing the seeing the love in people's uh, in people's faces and to see that while we really can make a difference in uh, in people's lives. And there are a lot of people out there that really want to hear the gospel preached and really want to be loved. We can do that. We can do that.